the French Revolution, a monumental event that forever altered the course of history. These two words echo through history, reverberating through the ages as a symbol of profound transformation and the relentless pursuit of justice. It was a time of radical change, of upheaval and of hope. The streets of Paris were filled with the fervor of revolutionaries, the air thick with the cries for liberty and equality. From 1789 to 1799, France was consumed by a revolution that would reshape its destiny and leave an enduring mark on the world. This decade of turmoil saw the fall of the monarchy, the rise of the Republic and the eventual ascent of Napoleon Bonaparte. Why should we care about events that happened centuries ago? What relevance do they hold for us today? The answer lies in the very fabric of our modern society because the French Revolution gave birth to ideas that still resonate today. The Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen laid the groundwork for modern human rights, emphasizing the principles of liberty, equality and fraternity. Liberty, equality, fraternity. These powerful concepts ignited the flames of revolution and continue to inspire struggles for freedom and justice around the globe. They are the bedrock upon which many democratic societies are built. The French Revolution serves as a reminder that ordinary people have the power to change the world. It was the common people, the sans-culottes, who rose up against oppression and demanded a new order. It is a testament to the human spirit's unyielding desire for a better future. The revolutionary's courage and determination continue to inspire those who fight for justice and equality today. By understanding the French Revolution, we gain a deeper understanding of our own world and the forces that shape it. The echoes of this revolution can be heard in the democratic movements and social justice campaigns of our time. It reminds us that the quest for a fair and just society is an ongoing struggle, one that requires vigilance, courage, and a commitment to the principles that the revolutionaries fought for. The French Revolution is not just a chapter in history, it is a living legacy that continues to influence and inspire us today. To truly grasp the magnitude of the French Revolution, we must first journey back to the years leading up to 1789. This was a time of great tension and underlying unrest, a period where the seeds of discontent were being sown across the French landscape. France at that time was a kingdom of immense power and wealth, yet beneath its glittering surface, deep cracks were beginning to show. The grandeur of the Palace of Versailles and the opulence of the French chateaus masked the growing dissatisfaction among the populace. France's social structure was rigidly hierarchical. Society was divided into three distinct estates, each with its own roles, privileges and burdens. The first estate, composed of the clergy, held significant influence and power. They were the spiritual leaders of the nation, guiding the moral compass of society. The second estate, made up of the nobility, enjoyed vast privileges. They lived in luxury, often in grand estates and palaces, and wielded considerable political influence. These two estates were largely exempt from most taxes, a privilege that allowed them to amass great wealth and maintain their status. The burden of taxation fell heavily upon the shoulders of the third estate, encompassing everyone else. This included peasants, urban workers, and the burgeoning middle class who were responsible for the majority of the kingdom's tax revenue. The French monarchy under King Louis XVI faced a mounting financial crisis. The king's inability to manage the kingdom's finances effectively only exacerbated the situation. Lavish spending coupled with costly wars and inadequate tax revenue had driven the kingdom to the brink of bankruptcy. The extravagant lifestyle of the court at Versailles and the expenses of maintaining a powerful military drained the royal coffers. Adding fuel to the fire were the ideas of the Enlightenment, a philosophical movement that emphasized reason, individual rights, and limits on the power of absolute monarchs. These ideas began to permeate French society, challenging traditional norms and inspiring a desire for change. Thinkers like Voltaire and Rousseau challenged the status quo and inspired calls for reform. Their writings and ideas spread like wildfire, igniting the imaginations of the French people and planting the seeds of revolution. The common people who made up the third estate were growing increasingly frustrated with their plight. They toiled in the fields and factories, yet saw little reward for their hard work. The disparity between their lives and those of the privileged few was stark and glaring. 
Food shortages and rising bread prices added to their woes. Bread was a staple of the French diet, and when it became scarce or too expensive, it led to widespread anger and unrest. Riots and protests became more common as people demanded relief from their suffering. The spread of revolutionary ideas was further aided by the proliferation of pamphlets and newspapers. These publications carried the messages of Enlightenment thinkers and revolutionary leaders, reaching a wide audience and galvanizing public opinion. In an attempt to address the financial crisis, King Louis XVI called for a meeting of the Estates General in 1789. This assembly, which had not been convened for over a century, brought representatives from all three estates together to discuss and propose solutions. However, the meeting quickly became a battleground for competing interests. The third estate, feeling marginalized and underrepresented, took a bold step by declaring itself the National Assembly. This act of defiance marked the beginning of a new phase in the struggle for power and reform. The tension reached a boiling point on July 14, 1789, when an angry mob stormed the Bastille, a symbol of royal tyranny. This dramatic event signaled the start of the French Revolution, a period of radical change that would reshape the nation and influence the course of history. The revolution brought forth new leaders and ideas as the French people united under the banner of liberty, equality and fraternity. The old order was challenged and a new era of democracy and human rights began to take shape. However, the path to change was fraught with challenges and turmoil. The revolution led to periods of intense violence and upheaval, such as the reign of terror, but it also laid the groundwork for modern democratic principles and the eventual rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. The legacy of the French Revolution continues to resonate today as its ideals of liberty, equality and fraternity remain central to the French national identity. The seeds of discontent that were sown in the late 18th century ultimately blossomed into a movement that changed the world. By 1789, France was a powder keg waiting to explode. The streets of Paris were filled with tension. Whispers of revolution echoed through the alleyways and the air was thick with the scent of impending change. The common people, burdened by heavy taxes and rising bread prices, were growing increasingly restless. The disparity between the opulent lives of the nobility and the dire poverty of the masses had reached an unsustainable level. The financial crisis had reached a breaking point. Decades of costly wars, including support for the American Revolution, had drained the royal coffers. The government was deeply in debt, and attempts to reform the tax system had been met with fierce resistance from the privileged classes. The economic hardship was palpable with widespread famine and unemployment exacerbating the suffering of the lower classes. The financial mismanagement and corruption within the monarchy only fueled the growing discontent. Faced with the dire state of affairs, King Louis XVI reluctantly agreed to convene the Estates General, an assembly representing the three estates of France for the first time in over 170 years. This decision was not made lightly as it signaled a recognition of the gravity of the situation. The king hoped that this assembly would help to address the financial crisis and quell the rising unrest. However, he underestimated the deep-seated frustrations and aspirations for change that had taken root among the people. The Estates General met at Versailles in May 1789, but the hopes for meaningful reform quickly dissolved into a power struggle. The assembly was divided into three estates, the clergy, the nobility and the commoners, or third estate. Each estate had one vote, which meant that the privileged first and second estates could easily outvote the third estate, despite the latter representing the vast majority of the population. This inherent inequality in the voting system became a major point of contention. The third estate, representing the vast majority of the population, demanded a system of voting by head rather than by estate, which would have given them greater influence. They argued that each delegate should have an individual vote, reflecting the true demographic makeup of France. This proposal was seen as a direct challenge to the established order and the privileges of the first and second estates. The third estate's insistence on fair representation was a bold move that highlighted the growing demand for equality and justice. The king and the privileged orders resisted the demands of the third estate, 
they were unwilling to relinquish their traditional privileges and power. The resistance from the monarchy and the nobility only served to deepen the resolve of the Third Estate. The tension in the assembly was palpable and it became clear that a compromise was unlikely. The refusal to adopt a more equitable voting system was a catalyst for further radicalization among the commoners. In response, the Third Estate took a bold step, declaring themselves the National Assembly and vowing to create a new constitution for France. This declaration was a revolutionary act, asserting that they were the true representatives of the French people. The famous tennis court oath where members of the National Assembly swore not to disband until they had drafted a new constitution symbolized their commitment to fundamental change. This act of defiance was a direct challenge to the authority of the king and the existing political order. This act of defiance marked a turning point. The formation of the National Assembly was a clear indication that the old regime was losing its grip on power. The common people, inspired by the courage of the Third Estate, began to believe that real change was possible. The momentum for revolution was building, and the call for liberty, equality and fraternity resonated throughout the nation. The National Assembly's actions set the stage for a series of events that would forever alter the course of French history. The French Revolution had begun, the storming of the Bastille, the rise of revolutionary leaders and the eventual overthrow of the monarchy were all set in motion by the bold actions of the Third Estate. The revolution would bring about profound social, political and economic changes not only in France but across Europe. It was a time of great turmoil and transformation as the ideals of the Enlightenment were put to the test in the crucible of revolution. The legacy of the French Revolution continues to shape the world we live in today, reminding us of the power of collective action and the enduring quest for justice and equality.